Hi, I'm Anam Huck, and I'm doing a presentation on jellyfish or medusozoa. So if you can see here, this is the kingdom tree, and jellyfish or medusozoa are part of the animal or animalia kingdom. This is the phylum tree, and out of the various phylums, jellyfish belong to the cnidarian or marine animal phylum. Now, jellyfish have various body adaptions, one of which is their respiratory adaption. Now, they lack organs like a brain, a heart, or even bones. However, their skin is very thin, soft, and permeable. So, they use this to their advantage, and they absorb oxygen from the surrounding waters through their skin, and that's how they breathe. They also have a protective body adaption. So they have stinging cells that they use to ward off predators or even to disarm their prey. These stinging cells are called cnidoblasts and they coat the jellyfish's tentacles. And cnidoblasts have a stinging thread inside them. And whenever the cnidoblasts are triggered, they shoot the stinging thread into their predator or prey that they are trying to disarm, and this effectively stings them. This can even be fatal, as in the case of the box jellyfish, which is one of the most lethal marine animals there is. Another one of their body adaptions is their eating adaption. Now, I mentioned earlier that they can use their cnidoblasts to disarm their prey, and they do that for the larger prey they have. However, they generally eat their smaller prey when they're just floating or swimming through the waters, they sort of just absorb the tiny planktons that are drifting around in the ocean. But when it comes to larger prey, they use their cnidoblasts to disarm them, and then they use their tentacles to bring them to their mouth. Now, when it comes to the food web, um, jellyfish are present in 95% of the, of the Earth's waters, and they usually thrive in warm, shallow coastal regions, but scientists have found some in deep Arctic waters. Jellyfish are part of one of the higher trophic levels because while they do eat some animals like plankton, small crustaceans, and fish larvae, they are also eaten by larger animals like humans, fish, turtles, or even birds. So I have constructed here a depiction of the food web where you can see that jellyfish eat um, small, crust small crustaceans and fish larvae. However, they are eaten by salmon, sunfish, and turtles, only to give a few examples. Now to the fossil record. Due to their soft tissue, jellyfish don't leave a very impressionable fossil. However, um, in 2007, some researchers from the University of Kansas found fossil remains of a jellyfish dating back to 500 million years ago. And this was during the Cambrian era, where lots of um, fossils of animals were discovered. However, unfortunately, they did not find any fossils that depicted an evolution or how jellyfish changed over the years simply because they think that jellyfish tissue is too soft to leave a very legitimate fossil. Also, due to the fact that jellyfish reside in the water, the sand does not hold a fossil very well. Now this concludes my presentation. I hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day.